Hi, I am Ravadi. This is Mr. Magdi from MYS International School. Uh, today, we're going to discuss the last part in exam, which is trig. Uh, please concentrate. Uh, first idea about trig, uh, which is sine, cosine, tan. You studied this one, guys, before. And you knew it, by the way, but the new one, it's what? The reciprocal of the function. Reciprocal of the function. What's meant by reciprocal of the function? Uh, for example, I have, if I have right triangle, okay, in right triangle, and I have the theta, the side opposite to it called the op opposite, and the side beside it called adjacent. And the hypotenuse, the biggest side, or the longest side in this triangle. Okay, guys, now sine theta, the ratio known as sine, it's opposite over hypotenuse. For this angle, this side is opposite, and this one adjacent. What is the reciprocal of sine cosecant or cosec? C is C. It's a reciprocal of sine. It's a reciprocal of sine. Okay. Uh, for example, if I need. Uh, Sine 30, I can go to calculator to make sine 30 directly. Wait. I can go to calculator to make sine 30 directly. Sine 30, which is half. But if I ask you about cosec 30, what I should do? I should go to calculator and they make what? And they make sine 30 and flip it. If I ask you for cosec, you're going to make what? Sine 30 and flip it because it's a reciprocal. Or on your calculator, you make fraction. One over. And you write what? One over sine 30. One over sine 30. Which is what, guys? Half. It means that to get cosec and 30, I would make one over sine 30. Look, guys, this is what's meant by reciprocal. It's also two. You can get sine 30 and the make flip upside down, or you can make one over sine 30 to give you cosec directly. Now, my sine, it's a reciprocal cosecant. Cosine, adjacent side over hypotenuse. What is adjacent for theta? Adjacent for theta, it's what this side, guys. And the hypotenuse, which is obvious, it's opposite to 90. This is what's meant by cosine theta. What is the reciprocal of sine sec? If I ask you to find sec 30, what you're going to do? Ah, uh, you would make 1 over cosine 30. On your calculator, 1, make fraction, 1, go down, and you write cosine 30. Makes what? 2 radical 3 over 3. 2 radical 3 over 3. This is how to get sick or secant. Sign it's known, guys. You can get it by calculator. But how can I get secant? By making one over cosine. One over cosine. The last one, guys, which is tan. Tan angle, which is opposite over adjacent. Opposite side over adjacent, which is tan. For example, I can get tan 30. Could we get cosan 30? I can make cotan 30, 1 over tan 30, reciprocal. Tan 30, 1 over tan 30. Makes a radical 3. Makes a radical 3. Okay, guys, this is uh, what is the angle and it's what? It's a reciprocal. What is the angle and it's a reciprocal. Okay, now, guys. In any trig function, I have three angle and the two sides. If it's given two, you can get the third. If it's given angle and the opposite, I can get hypotenuse. If it's given angle and the hypotenuse, I can get opposite. If it's given angle and the opposite, I can get adjacent. If it's given angle and adjacent, I can get opposite. Let's see some of this one, guys. For this one, look to this one. What is it? Right six trig ratio for theta. Yalla. How can we get the third? Uh -huh. How can we get the third side? 
radical by Pythagorean. How can we get it? It's radical. 26 squared minus 10 squared makes it 24. Because it's a leg. Because it's a leg. 26 squared minus 10 squared, which is what? 24. It means this side now 24. I can get sine theta. And it's a reciprocal, cosec theta. I can get uh, cosine theta. And it's a reciprocal, sec theta. I can get tan theta. And it's a reciprocal. Reciprocal cotan theta. First one, sine theta. This is theta. Sine so. Opposite over hypotenuse. So katoa. Opposite, which is what? 24. Over hypotenuse, which is what? 26. Makes what? 12 over 13. Divide to the bottom. This is my sign. It's cosecant. Ah, cosecant flip. 13 over 12. Look how easy, guys. To get cosine, cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse. What is adjacent for theta, guys? Adjacent for theta, which is 10 over hypotenuse, which is what 26. It's a 5 over 13. I need secant flip upside down 13 over 5. Look, guys. The last one, tan theta, opposite over adjacent. We get this one by Pythagorean. My opposite is what? 24 over adjacent, which is 10. 24 over 10. It makes it 12 over what? 5. I can write it 2.4, but I need cotan, reciprocal. Reciprocal, guys, flips the fraction upside down, 5 over 12. This is, if it's a given right triangle, and I ask you what is sine, cosine, tan, sec, cosec, cotan, the six trig function. And you must know, guys, what is opposite, what is adjacent, what is hypotenuse. Let us proceed. Find the sine theta using given trig ratio. Find the sine. Cosec. Ah, sine. Ah, it's a reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of cosecant sine? It means my sine theta directly. It's a three over what? Three over seven. Three over seven. Then guys, if it's a given tan theta, I need to get sine. What is tan theta? I can make triangle like this one theta, opposite over hypotenuse. This is five and this is 12. Sorry, opposite over adjacent. Opposite side of our adjacent sides. I can get hypotenuse, which is 13. I need sine. Sine theta, opposite over hypotenuse. 5 over what? 5 over 13. Use the ratio given to write the 5 trig function. If it's a given cosine, guys, I can make triangle. For theta. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, this is 5 and hypotenuse 13. I need opposite 12. You can get sine cosine tan sec sec tan. And also, I can make triangle tan theta. I set here opposite over adjacent. This is 3, this is 4. By using Pythagorean, I can get this one. How can we get hypotenuse? How can we get hypotenuse? It's radical. 3 squared plus 4 squared. Makes what? 5. Now I can get sine cosine tan, sine opposite over hypotenuse, sine theta, for example, 3 over 5. I can get cosecant theta, flip, 5 over 3. I can get cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. I can get it reciprocal, sec, which is 5 over 4. We can find also tan, tan theta for this triangle, guys. Then set a given, I can get it to cotan directly. Flip. Cotan theta 4 over 3. Okay, guys, this is by using what? By using a triangle. This is by using a triangle. All of this one, you're going to make triangle and you get what? 
and you get uh, the ratio. Okay, guys, you can check the solve the problem problem from your book thirty sixty in the forty five uh, ninety. I can get sine cosine time also, guys, as you know this one. It said 445 triangle. It's known as isosceles and each angle here 45. If it's given each angle 45, leg is 9. It means this one 9, this one 9. How can we get the third side by using a Pythagorean, which is 9 radical 2, but I can make it like this 9 squared plus nine squares to get hypotenuse. It, it's gonna give me nine radical two, nine radical two. I can get sine 45, sine 45 opposite over hypotenuse. Nine over nine radical two, which is one over radical two. If you write it in calculator, calculator make multiply radical two up down, it makes radical two over two. And the sine also one over radical two. Then, what else, guys? Uh, 30, 60, you make 30, 60, like this one. You make 30, 60, like this one. This one, 30, this one, 60, this one, not. Uh, theta 30, okay. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse 14. I need to get opposite. How can we get opposite by using the sign 30? Sine 30 equal opposite side, I don't know, over 14. By making shift solve or by excess sum. And I can get the side also if this is ABC. Now I got AB7. I need BC, I need adjacent. Yes, I would make Kozar. Line 30 equal adjacent, which I don't know, which is BC over 14. Mix what? By making shift to solve or uh, applying a ratio, 7 radical 3. Okay, guys. Then I applied this one to you and uh, Savas. You can solve it to check your understanding. To check your understanding. Uh, second lesson, guys. Second lesson, it's about what angles and the unit circle. Angles and the unit circle. What do we need here, guys? Something called reference or co terminal. Okay, let's start it from the beginning. Look, guys. Angle in standard position, angle in standard position. Okay. Angle in standard position. Angle in standard position. We open it from what guide? From positive direction of x axis. Any angle formed from two sides, two rays. This ray must be x, positive direction of x axis. And the other one is what called terminal side, the movable side. This side called the terminal side. Terminal side. Terminal side. This one called the terminal side. Terminal side, I can move it anyway, guys. I can make it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. Counter-clockwise, it's a positive. Positive angle. Counter-clockwise. Counter-clockwise. And the clockwise, it's a negative. Clockwise, it's a negative. Okay, guys. Let us see how can we graph. Angles. How can we graph angles? For example, if it's a given, draw angle 135. Graph. I would make X and Y. And until now, this is 0, this is 90. 
It's known for you guys. This is 90. This is 180. This is 270. Be careful. It's a positive. It means it's going to move in this direction. I'll move with my angle until I reach it to what? To 135 feet. It means this angle is 135. I need negative angle, for example. Graph angle negative 135. How could we draw this one? I'll go clockwise, starting from what, guys? Be careful. I must open angle from positive direction of X. I will go down until here I reach it to negative 90. Go a little further more ah, to reach it to what? One negative 135. Negative 135. Okay, guys. Uh, can we get more than equivalent for positive 135 by adding a 360, guys? Or I can go in that direction. Look, this positive measure equal 135. Do we have angle equal the same angle? Yes. If I go negative direction, if I go negative direction, it means this one. If I move in this way, 135. If I need clockwise, I'm going to move what, guys? Aha, uh -huh. negative 225. Degree. It means 135 equals negative 225 degree. This one positive measure and this one negative measure. Okay, guys, it means for each angle I have positive measure and the negative measure. Go to next one. Aha, uh -huh, this one negative 135. I go clockwise. I need equivalent measure. Aha, uh -huh, I can go. Counterclockwise. If I go counterclockwise, I'm gonna move what? Aha, uh -huh, 225. It means the angle, positive measure, and the negative measure for the same angle. And the both of them less than 360. Less than 360. Let's do another one. Negative 80. But this is negative angle. I need equivalent to positive angle. Equivalent to positive angle. How can we do it, guys? Let us see. If I move until here, 80, 80, 80, ah, this is negative 80. I accept. Now I need positive measure. Look to this one. I'll move in opposite direction until I reach here. It's what? This one, negative 80, and this one, 280. Their sum must be add to be 360. Okay, guys. Uh, let's do another equivalent to more than 360. Let's do another equivalent to more than 360. Give me an angle. Uh -huh. 100, for example. 100. Okay. This angle is 100. Can we make equivalent? Yes. I can add many 360. Look. I'll add one more 360, then go to 100. Let's say it became what? Aha, uh -huh, 460. It means 460 is the same as 100. That's called what? Co-terminal. Co-terminal. Okay. I can add more. Yes, I can add more. I can make this 100 and add two revolutions. I can make this angle and add three revolutions. It's up to you. I can add minus 360. If it's a negative, for example, negative 60, can we make it uh, with angle equivalent to more than 360? Yes, look, I'll move 360. Then add another 60. Negative 60 equal negative 60 minus 360 makes a negative 240. 420. It means 420, guys, equal to what? Equal to negative 60. And you add many, you can add many uh, 360, 2, 360, 3, 360, and so on. It's up to you to get equivalent. Then, guys, reference angle. Reference angle. What is reference angle? It's about I. 
את הזמורתיי ואת הסוגיות. Yes, it looks like bow tie. Look, guys, if I have angle in for this, the quad, it's already acute. No reference. But angle in second, the quad, where is the acute? Where is the reference? This is reference angle, guys. This is reference. If I give you reference and you need angle, you must get this angle. If I give you a reference, my theta equal 180 minus reference angle. For example, if I give you reference angle, reference angle twin and lies in second quad. What is the measure of angle? I would make what is the measure of angle, positive measure of angle, this one, my reference. My angle is what? 180 minus 20, which is what? Which is 160. It means this angle 160. It means my angle in the standard position is 160. If I give you a reference and the angle in second quad, you would make 180 minus this angle to get the angle in the standard position. If I give you angle in third quad, my reference angle lies here. Look, this is my reference angle. Okay. For example, if I give you reference angle lie, uh, 45 lies on third, what is my angle? What is my angle in the standard position? Look. Reference angle on third quad, in third quad. This is my reference angle in third quad. But I need, look, I open my angle from here until I reach it here. It means my angle is what? Huh? 180 plus the given angle. 180 plus given angle, which is 45, plus reference. It means 225. It means if I give you angle 225, you can make it what 45 on angle and reference and force. And third, I would make 180 plus the reference angle. Angle and force. This is my reference angle, my reference angle. If I give you a reference angle in force a quad is 40. I would put here 40, but I need all this angle. If angle in force, you would make 360 minus 40 it makes a 320. It means this is my angle. Now guys, now guys, my reference angle my reference angle, I can give you the reference angle and you give me angle. I can give you angle, you get the reference angle. Both guys. Uh, let us see what do we have. Look to this one, guys. He said, what is the negative angle? What is the negative angle rotation for angle was given? This one, 270. I go 270 positive. I go to 170 positive like this one, and I stop the here. What is the negative? Ah, this one's the negative measure. You would make 360 minus 270. No, 270 minus 360. Makes a negative 90. It means if I move here to 70, I would move here what? Negative 90. Then, the other one, 110. I moved here, 110. Look, what is the negative measure? I would make 110 minus 360. Okay, makes it 250. Negative 250. Be careful, you must write negative. Then, look to this one. 
find the measure of each angle as a positive angle measure and the negative angle measure and the angle measure is greater than 360. Look, this one reference. I need this angle. What I should do? Uh huh. Because it's a lies in second, my reference. In second, 180 minus reference. Give me the angle 135. I need angle more than 360. I can make 135 plus 360. It makes a 495. This one's a positive measure more than 360. The negative measure. 135 positive measure. I need it's a negative measure. I'll go in opposite direction. Uh, which is what? 135 minus 360, negative 225. This one's a negative measure, and this one angle more than 360. Here, I need this angle. This one 60, it means this one is what? Negative 120. Okay, guys. Then this is my first quad, second quad, third quad, fourth quad. You must remember this one, guys. You must remember this table. Okay? Then. If angle lies in first, reference angle, we say the reference angle. Look, if I give you angle 130, what is the reference? 130 lies in second. If angle in second equal 180 minus given angle, give me reference. Again, how can we get reference? 180 minus given angle, it means it's what, 50. Why do we need 50 guys to make this triangle? To get sine cosine 10 for the reference is the same as 30. Okay, it means the reference angle of 130 is what, is 50. My reference angle must be with x-axis. My reference angle must be with x-axis. Okay. Let us proceed. Now, my angle in second quad. How can we get reference angle? Yes. I need this part only, guys. Look, who can guess? Aha. Uh -huh. I would make, I would make what? 210 minus 180. It means if angle in third, theta minus 180. If angle in second, 180 minus theta to get reference. Remember this rule, please, please guys. To get reference, you would make if angle in second, 180 minus given angle. If angle in third, angle minus 180. To give you the reference, it means my reference, guys, is what is 30. It means this is 30. Why, guys? To make triangle. To make triangle. Then, guys, what's written here? A reference angle is 45, and its a terminal side lies in what? In what? In what? In what? In what? Ah, uh -huh, fourth quad. Look to this one, guys. My reference here. Where is the reference? Ah, this one is a reference angle, 45. What are the possible positive measure and the negative possible? Positive possible? I'll go like this one. I'll go what 350. Negative measure, negative 45. This is my what? Positive measure and the negative measure. Look, 315 positive measure and the negative measure is negative 45. Okay, we can solve this one quickly, guys. Look what he said. The angle given R in the standard position, what is its reference angle for each given angle? For 65, it's in first quad, it's a reference angle, by the way. 145 in second quad, what we said to get reference? Uh -huh, 180 minus 145, which is what, 35. Okay, guys, find the measure of an angle in the standard position of its reference. If reference 15 and then second. I give you reference. Reference 15. What is the angle itself? As we said at the beginning of the video. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I move what? 165. It means the angle in the standard position. It's 165. Because my reference like this one in second part. I need angle in the standard position. Which is what? 165. Number 25, what he said. He said a degree in quadrant three. In quadrant three, this is my reference, guys. A degree. Look, I draw it here. Insert the quad, this is my reference. Which is what? Which is eight. Eight. He needs angle in the standard position. He needs all of these. Until here, I moved what? 180, then I add 8. It means 188. If I give you a reference, you can get angle in the standard position, like this one. You draw reference and you get the angle. In second one, 180 minus. In third one, 180 plus. To get angle in the standard position. To get angle in the standard position, given angle. Look to this one. To get angle in standard position given that given reference okay guys if it's in second quad reference in second quad to get angle in standard position what i should do 180 minus given angle to get the reference angle sorry to get angle in standard position you would make 180 minus reference to get angle in a standard position. It means this angle. Angle in four, in third. I give you this as a reference. You would make 180 plus. 180 plus the reference. Give me angle in a standard position. Angle in standard position. If angle in force, This one, reference angle. This angle is reference. How can we get this angle? I need all this angle. 360 minus reference. Give me angle in the standard position. Okay, guys, this is how to get angle in the standard position. Okay? And this one, give you angle in the standard position, and he needs what? He needs the reference. Reference, guys, must be angle with the x-axis. Okay, guys, now change it from right to degree. Change it from right to degree. As you know, guys, if I give you angle in right, if I give you angle in right, how would you change it into degree? You would make. I need angle in degree. I would make angle in red. Multiply by 180 over pi. You must remember this rule. If you have red multiplied by 180 over pi, change it into degree. If you have degree, you need to make it red multiplied by pi over 180. Multiply by pi over 180. Let's see, guys. Let us see. And we'll prove this one in class, guys. We'll prove this one in class. Okay. Now, this is what I need. He said, convert each measure to degree. It means this one, right? How can we make it degree? Uh-huh. Pi over 3. Multiply by 180 over pi. Mix what? 60. It means this one, 60 degree. This one red, seven pi over four, I would make it multiply by 180 over pi to change it into degree. It makes what? Seven over four, seven over four, seven over four, time is, one each makes it three hundred and fifty. 
Now the the opposite. Convert the degree to right. I would make negative thirty multiply by pi over one eighty. Makes a negative pi over what? Over six. It means this one degree. I I changed it into right. I changed it into right. Okay, guys. Nah, and I uploaded this one, guys, for you. To what? To check. Uh, now, the uh, this one, guys, how to get, I give you angle. You give me the trick. I need, for example, sine 30. How could you get it without using a uh, calculator? Now, let us see, guys. In this lesson, I have two ways. I give you angle. You can get sine cosine tan for this angle. And it's a reciprocal, by the way, for sec, sec tan. By two ways. First one, draw triangle or graph triangle. Graph triangle. And this is the most easiest one. A triangle in first required like bow tie, like this one, and set a root. Triangle in second required, like this one. Triangle in third required, like this one. Triangle in fourth required, like this one. This is angle 90. This is angle 90. This is angle 90. This is angle 90. This is first required, second required. Third required, fourth required. Second one, guys, identity. Use identity. What is identity? We proved this one in class, guys. And sine square theta plus cosine square theta equal to one. And you must apply aesthetic rule. What is aesthetic rule here? All positive, all click function positive. Here only sine and the reciprocal positive. If angle in second, only sine positive and cosine positive. If angle in third, only tan positive and cosine positive. If angle in fourth, only cosine positive and Sick possible. Let us see, guys, how can we do this one? Let's get it. Okay. Oh, huh. This one is out using calculator. How can we solve this one? He asked for cosine. 2 pi over 3. Cosine 2 pi over 3. Okay, guys, this one right. Concentrate. I would graph. I will graph. I will graph. Okay? Graph, graph, graph. This angle is what? 2 pi over 3. I can change it into degree. To be easy. Okay? Uh, which is what? 2 pi over 3 multiply pi 180 over pi. Makes what? 120. It means, guys, 120 in which equal and second equal. This is my triangle. This is my 120, okay? But I don't need this one. I'll use this one, which is what? 60. And this one famous. And this one famous. Look, guys. Now. And this one 60, this one 90. Now this one what? 30. Do you know the ratio? Ah, this one 2x. The side opposite to 30, which is x, but this one in negative direction. Be careful. Negative x. And this one is what? X radical 3. Do you remember 1? This is 2, 1, 1 radical 3. Or you can make it 2x, negative x, x radical 3, 2x, x, x radical 3. You must remember this triangle, guys, 30, 60. And 45, 45, 90. This one x, this one x, this one x radical 2. 
this one two x the side opposite to thirty have hypotenuse, which is x and this one x side of side. Now, guys, it's easy. I would work in this triangle now, but be careful. This side is negative. Why? Because it's left. Now I need what cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Now this is my theta, which is 60. 60 is the same as this angle 120. But be careful about sign. Adjacent, now cosine. 2 pi over 3 equal. Adjacent to negative x. Over 2x. Cancel x with x. It means it's a negative half. You can make it, you can make the triangle and get it by calculator directly. I accept. Okay. This one's so important, guys. Without using calculator, it means a graph triangle. To graph triangle, triangle in first quad like this one. If angle from 0 to 90, if angle more than 90 and less than 180, my triangle would be like this one. And I'll use this angle as theta. If angle from more than 180 and less than 270, I would make triangle like this one. And this is my theta. If angle more than 270 and less than 360, means my theta is here. And this is my angle. I use this triangle, guys. This is my right. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, I need sine negative 45. Okay. This is negative 45 here. I would make triangle like this one, and this one 45. X, X, X radical to what is my mistake? Ah, this is negative. I need what? I need sign opposite okay. over hypotenuse. It means the negative X over X radical to. Cancel X with X, negative one over radical to. Without using calculator. Without using calculator. My triangle in first quad like this one. And second the quad like this one, and third the quad like this one, and fourth the quad like this one. Okay, guys, this one's so important. Okay. Find the sine and the cosine of each angle. Okay. Let us see, guys, for right. 5 pi over 6, I will change this one into degree. Multiply by 180 over one. When your calculator, it makes what? 150. Now, grab the triangle. 150. I would be here. And they make triangle like this one. This is my theta. This is 90. Until here, it's 150. It means what is this angle? Ah, it's a 30. Now, my triangle 30. This one to x, this one negative x, this one, sorry, 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 sorry. Opposite to 30 is negative x, and opposite to 60 x radical 3. I need what? I need sine. It's easy. Sine now 5 pi over 6, I would use this rank. Opposite over hypotenuse, negative x over 2x. No, this is not negative. This one only negative. This one positive, guys. It means it's a half. Second one, cosine, 5 pi over 6. You can check your calculator. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Negative x radical 3 over 2x. Makes negative radical 3 over 2. This one. I must change it into degree and draw triangle. I have to change it into degree and draw triangle. This one without using calculator. This one, guys, it's more than two pi, more than two pi. By degree, it's what? It's uh, 29 over pi, 20, multiply 180 over pi, cancel pi with pi. This one given 1,305. I keep make minus 360, minus 360, minus 360, until it's less than 360. I think once. 
سوري Now I make this one the equivalent to this angle. If angle is dependent, it's a big. You keep getting out what? 360. Then I graph the angle. What is 125? Ah, uh -huh. second part. Third. Now, how can I draw the angle? Yes, like this one. Like this one. Okay. This one, 225, I need this angle. I need this angle. How can we get it? Uh -huh. two, two, five. I need this reference. Two, two, five minus one. Eight. Next what? 45. I need this angle 45 and this angle 45, this angle 90. This one negative. This one next, this one extra radical. I need sign opposite of our angle. This one negative also. Ne because I go left negative, I down negative. Negative x over x radical 2. Cancel x with x negative 1 over radical 2. This one what? Sine. Cosine. Uh, 29 pi over 4 equal negative x over x radical 2. Negative 1 over radical 2. Okay, guys, uh, this is for now. Thank you for being with me. I complete this one after a while.